This is all entirely new to me. The idea that a mentor gets to choose his or her own designers. I thought, good heavens, this has never happened to me on Project Runway. I mean, the closest I've come is being part of the auditions, but I don't ever choose the final group. And years and years and years of teaching, did I ever choose my students? Of course not. What this did, this whole selection process, is that it created a kind of proprietary bonding between the designer and, and the mentor. It's very special. I was actually quite touched by it. I'm so in love with you today, Mondo, because I can't even imagine what my designs would go to with you. And if I felt 100% confident in my drafting, draping skills, without a doubt I would pick you, but I don't. If more than one mentor wants the same designer, it's the designer's decision. And I didn't envy any of the, of the designers that role. Nick, I'm very happy that you chose me first. However, I'm contemplating going with one of the other two. In a matter of speaking, you're, you're rejecting somebody else or possibly two people. So Shan, it's in your court now. I want to pick Anya. Oh, thank yeah. you. I was very perplexed by the fact that people were passing over Nick. I didn't understand it. He has maturity, he has experience as a designer and, and with the industry and with marketing and merchandising and sales. And he has a st strong background teaching. So I was really surprised. You know what I think it is? Anya won season nine. It wasn't that long ago. Mondo was an intense part of season eight and was a finalist, but then he won All Stars later. Nick goes way back to the ancient era of runway, season two. 